So I woke up this morning, I seen this tweet, and I just wanna start this video by saying, we are not here to bash Ubisoft. We are not here to bash the team at X Defiant. That's not what this is. This is not an I told you so video. I know there's probably gonna be plenty of those and tons of people in other people's comments. We told you this would happen. We're not here to do that. I'm no dev. I don't know shit how none of this shit work. All I know is the game is shutting down. And that's sad. I feel bad for the team over there at X Defiant. I feel bad for the player base because there are people who genuinely love this game and they're gonna be sad to see it go. I get it. So that's not what this is. But after seeing this, it kind of just drove home a small, uh, well, I won't say small, but it drove home a point for me that competitive online shooters, and before I continue, stay in that box. This video is strictly about competitive online shooters only. In that game bubble, okay, having one genre, a part of your game just, just doesn't work anymore. Not very well. It just doesn't. And when I say genre, I want to break this down. There are modes for games. There's game modes, correct? And then there's genres. Genre is arena shooter, battle royale, extraction shooter, turn-based, blah, 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 whatever. That's a genre. A mode would be you have the genre arena style and its modes would be search and destroy, team deathmatch, domination, blah, 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 blah. In today's gaming world, just releasing an arena shooter is not enough to keep longevity. It just isn't. And that goes for every genre across the board, whether you're a battle royale or an extraction shooter or, or whatever. All these games that come out in this space have multiple genres within their one game. It's just a thing now. It, it's, it's just be kind of come a gaming industry standard at this point for competitive online shooting. Apex, battle royale, team deathmatch stuff, the whole mixtape play, uh, playlist. Let's not forget arenas, right? Call of Duty, multiplayer, zombies, battle royale, extraction, Fortnite. You can literally download Unreal Engine for Fortnite and build your own. There are a kajillion different style of games in the game itself, outside of the base game that exists, right? It's just, and I'm just saying that to say, you need more than just one thing. Every game, even if the main core is Battle Royale or the main core is Extraction Shooter, all these games have branches for other genres to be played within that game. Delta Force is getting ready to come out today, I believe. Later on today, this evening, you got the Battlefield style mode. You have Extraction PvP, you have Extraction PvE. And from what I heard, they might even be in talks for a BR at some point. Don't quote me on that, but I feel like I heard that somewhere. I could be wrong, but you see what I'm saying? It's not just, hey, here goes Battlefield style mode, 64v64, blah, 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 blah. It wouldn't do well. Maybe in the beginning, but just like X Defiant, most likely a year or two from now, if it didn't have any of these extras, most likely it would, it would probably shut down too. We're just at that stage. We're at a place now where that 2000s way of thinking just doesn't work. And that's what that is. Because in the early 2000s, it was okay. If you were on Xbox, you were waiting for Halo. If you were on PlayStation, you were waiting for Call of Duty. And that's what you did every year. There wasn't a bunch of different online shooters at first that you really, you, so you didn't, you, there wasn't a lot of choice and none of that stuff. You just, you just waited for what was available. You had Call of Duty multiplayer, Call of Duty zombies. Right, that was a thing for a while. But as technology has progressed, just, just being in the mid twenties at this point, we are in a state where multitasking is the new singular focus on something. We are just a people who, who don't do single things at a time anymore, especially in the gaming space. I, I'll give you a perfect example of what I mean, right? Cause it's not, it doesn't fly fully across the board with this, but here's what I'm trying to explain. When you watch TV, when is the last time you watched a Netflix show and all you did was look at the show? Probably years ago, you don't even realize it, right? You're either watching the show, you're using this, you're TikToking, maybe you're sending out a snap, you might even be playing a game on your phone and watching your iPad on FaceTime with another homie who's also doing all the same stuff. You're doing 37 different things at once. It's just where we are in the world. So trying to focus on one game mode for a game just does not work. It just doesn't work anymore, man. We're at a stage where 
<laughs> the brain span, the attention span is just too short. It's not enough to keep people hooked. Is basically what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So again, did X Defiant need a battle royale? I won't use the word need, but I do think it would have been helpful. Especially given the fact that there's not much in that space right now. And before people start, there's tons of battle royales. Look, every time somebody says there's tons of something, they can only spout off two or three things. That's not tons. That's not several. That word is called a few. A few does not make several. We need several. Several is a good number to have. Fuck few. Okay? Call of Duty, Apex, Fortnite. These are the three battle royales. What the fuck else is there to exist? Rim Royale or some shit? No, nigga. These are the only three battle royales that people play. Imagine if X Defiant had done that. It ain't like the game was bad. It had good gunplay. The whole using the Ubisoft IPs for the universe was genius. Highwayman and, and Rainbow Six Siege and all that. It was smart. Imagine if they would have actually did this battle royale. Another first person battle royale. Am I saying that the game still wouldn't be shut down today? I don't know, but I feel like it would have stood a better chance if that existed or if it had an extraction mode or both. All I'm saying is this should kind of be a wake up call for anybody who's developing a shooter and they're only focusing on one specific style of play. It's just, we're just past that time, man. It's, it's, it's like trying to still sell CDs in 2025. Who the hell has a CD player? Nigga, it's Bluetooth all day. That's that's pretty much what these game devs are doing when they make games like this. You're trying to give a nigga a CD who doesn't have a CD player and he Bluetooth his music straight through Apple or Spotify or YouTube Premium or whatever. What is he going to do with it? All he can do is look at it. Like, I, what am I supposed to do with this, bro? You see what I'm saying? You have to have multiple, multiple genres within one game at this point for competitive online shooting. It just is what it is. It helps. Not only does it keep a decent sized player base and give you a bigger player base, it gives you the longevity you need because you're creating breathing room from your main game. Perfect example. When I got to the point of being tired of Apex Legends, the Battle Royale, Arenas dropped. And for me, Arenas was a breath of fresh air. I loved it. It was the only thing I was really playing. And if I got to a point where I felt like, hey, I'm a little burnt on arenas, then I wouldn't feel, then now all of a sudden the battle royale feels fresh. You see what I'm saying? Every time I would get to a point, I had I could ping pong. Again, man, like I said, I feel bad for the team over there at X Defiant, man. I do know it won't be sunsetting until next June. I think it said June 3rd, 2025. So you do have some time to still play, but unfortunately that is the way the cookie crumbles. But who knows? It, between that time, they might actually figure out a way to turn this into a BR. And then maybe add an extraction shooter and then slowly slip back in the arena shooter and have X Defiant 2. You don't know. They could do that. Personally, I, I hope they do. It'd be nice to have another BR to play, man. Especially in first person. It would be sick. But that's it for me, man. Let me know what you think. How do you feel about this whole X Defiant thing shutting down? Do you give a fuck? Are you going to miss it? Do you think it needed a BR or an extraction mode or both? Love to hear your thoughts. See you in the next video.